VR may have had its best week ever. According to a market research firm that's looking at sales in the UK, Black Friday 2023 was its biggest ever revenue week. This is specifically VR. This doesn't call out what headsets, but it even took the number one spot as far as gaming accessory product groups, as we can see at the bottom here. This, of course, coming alongside the information we told you last week, seeing that during Black Friday, it looks like the Quest 2 was actually outselling the Quest 3 by two and a half times due to those great Black Friday sales we saw that basically dropped the price of the Quest 2 down to $200. We also now have some more analytics here that we can review. Sadly, it's Bradley dropped over on Twitter, and this is Amazon US sales showing us that mostly what's selling is the Quest 2. Although there is the Quest 3 still selling, PSVR 2 really having low sales down at the bottom. Of course, not much of a surprise when for a PSVR 2 you have to already own a PS5, and it's an expensive piece of hardware. But Quest 2 really leading the charge this Christmas, it looks like. What's going to be under the trees is a lot of Quest 2s that people got at that $200 price point, and there's still some sales going on right now, even Target. Target has a bundle that's available. $249 for the headset plus a $50 Target gift card as well, basically making it around $200. I'll leave a link in the description in the comments in case you need to get another Quest 2 or get a Quest 2 and you want to jump on that deal. Whether you're looking for sports or mixed reality, a new game is launching today called Racket Club and it's actually from the makers of Demio Resolution Games, which from Demio is one of my favorite VR games. This is one of those sports games you are going to want some space around you because you're going to be jumping around smacking balls back across court like you would in real life. And this is meant to be for people that like things like tennis or pickleball. There's a single player career mode or you can play singles for 1v1s or even 2v2s in this. Like a lot of other resolution games, there is a club in this similar to the Heroes Hangout in Demio where you can just hang out, meet up with people and then go play games with them. And when you're playing the regular sport, you can even play it in mixed reality mode. To see what the public thought, we actually took this game to the streets and met up with some people that play real life tennis, pickleball, racquetball, those kind of games and actually had them test it out to see what they think. There's a game coming out this week called Racket club that's kind of like this but in virtual reality or mixed reality i have a headset i was wondering if you guys would be willing to try it and tell me what it's like compared to the real thing yeah 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 let's get you suited up real quick oh dude that guy freaking got me did kicking work no <laughs> it's so weird to not <laughs> a couple of them i went too high up i guess on the serve Three. Oh, let's go. Hey, I won, but I'm just seeing like the rest of this mixed reality thing. This is crazy. Oh, whoa. There's like a whole club and everything. That's so cool. This is wild. Oh, shoot. It's pretty crazy that I can like see the real court around me as well. <laughs> I can like see my real hands and the fake hands. <laughs> Dude, this is fun. <laughs> Come at me, Manabu. I can't beat this guy. I'm about to see the comeback of the century right here. Whoa. That is so wild. <laughs> so with that, the game's launched today on Quest 2499. Although if you're looking for it on Steam or Pico, you're gonna have to wishlist it over there. I'll leave links down in the top comment in the description to do any of that for you. And a special thanks to Resolution Games for sponsoring today's news. An exciting feature that was announced at last year's Connect Conference was Microsoft CEO saying that the Xbox Game Pass library is gonna come to Quest. And basically through Xbox Cloud Game, you could play any game in your Xbox library on your Quest on a giant virtual screen. We heard again this year at Connect, it's still coming. Coming, coming this December and guess what as of now it is out in beta there'll be a link if you want to hit that up it's on the meta store just like any other app or game you need that subscription service though that is about $17 a month and if we hop over to the meta page we can see that it's out so far only a few ratings giving it about four stars but all of the written reviews as of the time of this recording were all positive five star excellent nice they knocked it out of the park for this and strangely just a few random reviews one two and four star keep in mind it is still considered beta so you're probably gonna have some some issues you're going to run into, but it's exciting that this feature is here. I know a lot of people were waiting for it. I don't have an Xbox or the Game Pass, but gosh, this makes me tempted because then I could just play this instead of playing my PS5, which I'm barely playing at all right now, sad to say. What about you? If you have Game Pass, are you jumping in on this? Or if you don't have Game Pass, are you considering getting it? Let me know. Meta teased us with a Mirror Lake prototype last year, and now they're teasing us again, but with a render of what one could look like. This was an advanced headset that they're saying now is completely practical to actually build right now. And looking kind of suspicious like the Apple Vision Pro here. It is showing eyes through it, but same thing, it's not actual eyes. These are being re-rendered on the outside of the device. And although this is not something that's been confirmed to be an exact project they're working on right now, they're saying this is possible. We could see something like this in the second half of this decade. A couple of the advanced features here, LCD with laser backlight, and even just hearing the term laser kind of throws back to the Ready Player One headset that they said in the book was way ahead of its time that directly fired the lasers into your eyes. It's got holographic pancake lenses, very focal modules, which are actually 
actually starting to hear about in more and more possible headsets, expensive headsets, but still, and prescription lens inserts. Although some of the current high-end headsets, you can change the prescription inside the headset for everyone instead of having to have multiple sets of lenses. There's a great article on Upload VR that really breaks down each of these features if you want to go in depth and learn more about it, but it's all just future possibilities at this point. But I'll leave that link in case you want to look further. I think it's exciting to see what more the future might look like. It is interesting how other things we've seen from Samsung and this, it does look like we're headed more in that direction of that possible ski goggle kind of uh, uncanny valley eyes. How do you feel about that versus how the Quest 3 looks right now? Of course, if you somehow missed it, we're still giving away a Quest 3 to say thank you once again to all of you out there. Giving away a couple of them now, it's been awesome to help spread it, even if they're really expensive. And I feel like Quest 2 giveaways would have been really easy with the lower cheap price point they're having right now. I'm curious out there, I know a lot of you are excited about the Quest 3 giveaways. Should we try to do some Quest 2 ones? Because we could also do more, or is everybody more excited about getting a Quest 3 and already has a Quest 2? There will be a link to that giveaway down in the comments in the description if you haven't entered already. But let me know in the comments how you're feeling about that. Should we try and bring back the Quest 2 ones? It seemed like when Apple Vision Pro was announced, it was a long ways out when they were saying 2024, but now reports are saying that it really might actually be able to launch in January. Bloomberg reported that Apple is aiming internally to get it out the door by the end of January. This is coming through secondhand information and it's also coming through Bloomberg, who we've seen has been a little back and forth on their information and they even say in the same article, they're expecting a release at least before March, barring any unforeseen snags. So it may or may not be something that's really gonna happen. Early 2024 is what we'd heard and I feel like January, it seems soon. It seems like maybe the first ones would show up in stores for demos and then people could order them from there. I'd be shocked, but who knows? Maybe these things will actually be available at CES for people to test out and get their eyes and other reviewers like MKBHD have actually gotten to try them on and talk about what they saw in their experiences with them. So they at least have demo units ready right now. Is there a single person who watches this channel that's buying it day one? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to chat with you about it. With 2024 fast approaching, some of the other PC VR headsets that were supposed to be coming, like the Megan X, have pushed back to releasing in 2024. The Megan X, which was actually from the Panasonic subsidiary, was originally supposed to launch in early 2023, which is interesting because we did get to try it at CES in 2023. And this is a PC VR headset that would likely be in competition with something like the big screen beyond. Although at a much more expensive price of around $1,700. But as we've seen, we're already almost at the end of 2023, if you can believe that, and it's not here. So 2024, hopefully be a big year for some more big VR headsets. Although right now between the Quest 3, the people who've gotten the big screen beyond, and then of course some of the new PSVR 2 games, I feel like a lot of the major headsets are on the market right now and available. There's not much in 2024 I'm looking forward to trying to get myself. What is the tiniest VR headset you've ever seen? Probably not this one, which is actually being used on mice. That's right. Researchers at an Illinois Northwestern University have developed a VR headset for mice. In traditional scenarios, if they wanted to research situations that they could control, apparently mice have big screen TVs around them, at least big screen to them, but they wanted something more immersive. So now they've made these tiny little VR headsets for them, which is random and weird, I think. We've all seen probably that video where the dog had a VR headset on its face and looked very happy with whatever it was seeing. That's a lot different than having your dog at home, checking out some VR versus, you know, forced experiments on mice. I'm always interested to see and talk about where VR is working its way out into the world even further, but this one took me by such surprise. I had to share just so I could get your opinions out there. What they really want to try is they want to put the mice in situations where they are the predator instead of the prey and monitor their brain activity to see how they handle that differently, getting to be an owl chasing mice rather than being a mouse chased by an owl. Weird one to end on there, but a good week for VR in the world of it. If you're in Atlanta and you see this video today when it comes out, I'm there for a couple days. Hit me up if you're anywhere near DreamHack. We can hang out, play some VR together. I'm excited for that, although of course the next few days if I'm out of town, you'll see a little bit less uploads than you're used to, but you'll see some shorts and other stuff to take the spot with the dailies for us. But once again, a huge thank you all of you. We just hit 63,000 before I sat down to record this, so thank you for yet another milestone. Many, many this year, so thank you so much, and I'll see you in another reality. Thank you.